Well, from spray tanning to cosmetic procedures, wanting to look better is something everybody can relate to, right? I mean, I get that. But what happens when people take what could be a good thing to the extreme? Now, my next guest, Lacey, loves to be the center of attention and has L-sized breast implants. Now, her daughter says she's just embarrassed. Tell you what. To the public, Lacey Wilde is all about the boobs. Twelve months ago, I tripled my breast size. After that, I doubled it. That rocked me into fame. I'm a living Barbie doll, and that's how I make my money. I understand that it makes her money, but I think that it's very pointless to have huge boobs like that. There's a competition. Everybody wants to be the biggest in the world. This is incredible, all right? Here, sexy lady. When I go out in public, it's it's really crazy. I I love the attention that I get with my breasts. My mom has gotten so obsessed with the attention that she feels like she deserves it. My daughter Tori said to me, Mom, the world doesn't revolve around your boobs. I would like to walk into a restaurant. Not everyone's staring at us eat. Like, I know you think that's fun, but it's not. It's done hearing about it, seeing it, dealing with it. My mom doesn't really know how it is to earn money and really appreciate it. To date, I've spent well over $200,000 in surgery. My mom wastes money on surgery when she should be spending it on her children. The thing that hurts Tori the most is the way I'm perceived by other people. My mom's appearance is more embarrassing than her behavior. They automatically think she's a porn star and a slut. And if my mom's a slut, people are going to be like, oh, you're a slut. And my mom is not at all. My mom is not a porn star. And I'm not a slut. I'm very concerned about the way I look. I keep getting surgeries because I'm trying to keep up with the other younger girls. I don't know what my mom would do if she didn't have her breast. It's always all about mom's boobs. You don't think this is a good idea? Mm, no. <laughs> Does it embarrass you? It embarrasses me sometimes when like people are staring at mm -hmm. us. Yeah. Tell me, how did you decide to do this? Because uh, I asked them to put together a progression uh, of you across time through right. your life. And this is you at 13 years old, and you're as cute as you can be, 23, a, a very nice uh, figure, 26, racy, um, 29, third surgery, you've gone to triple D. At that point, you've had surgeries four. You stayed the same size and did revisions on four through nine. Yeah, I had I had uh, children in between, so, you know, I pretty much stayed the same. Right. But then at 38 years of age, you had the 10th surgery and you went from triple D to J. And at 42, you went to K, then you went to L. Right. So that was your 12th surgery. Yeah. 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 From the top, see where it's 42 to 43 there, it was like uh -huh. 11 months ago. I was 1,700 and then I jumped up to 3,150. 1700 cc's cc's of the implants of each yeah. which is huge right some of the biggest in the world and you went to 3150 yeah and then i went to 3150 within six months i changed my breast size again and you've had other procedures right a lot you've had two tummy tucks two full body lipos you've had your abdominals tighten brazilian butt lift mm -hmm. lip injections yeah i've not really done much to my face would you do this no, I wouldn't. You have no interest in it whatsoever. Why not? I, I'm confident in myself. I don't really need to. And my mom's personality. Is do you do this because of a lack of confidence? She says she's confident, so she wouldn't do this. Yeah, you know, I'm a very confident person. I always have been pretty confident. I mostly do it to make money. Believe it or not, it's a lot the way the world perceives you, uh, especially trying to make money. So that was my original reason for doing it. And then the last year, I just really boosted it up to, I didn't really realize it was going to make me one of the biggest, best girls in the world when I went that big. But the money started pulling in, you know, from fans all over the world. What, they just they just say, hey, I saw your big breasts. I want to send you 10 see bucks. You. Yeah. I love you. You're awesome. And, you know, I've, I've had guys give me $30,000 and they are nuts. Seriously, they just send you thirty thousand dollars because you Absolutely. have these big balloons injected under the skin. Balloons? They're well, no, they're, they're well, well, they're 
expanders. Well, no, they're not, I'm actually going to get expanders, which is a skin expander that makes them bigger. We have to get those custom made. We have to go to another. Company. So you want to go bigger? I'm going to go bigger. Really, bigger than this is you now. Right? That's me now. Wow. Um, <laughs> but you're going bigger than that. Yeah, I have friends. Just so you know, like I'm not the biggest in the world. And I have friends that are a lot bigger than me. But I am in two breasts. They are in one. I don't want to be that big. Don't get me wrong. You know, I don't want to walk out and be like under a circus tent. Okay. But uh, and I'm not saying they are. That's their. That's what they do. I. I I'm for the choice. Whatever you do, it makes you happy. Do it. I don't care what it is, as long as you're not hurting anyone else or yourself. And, all right, I'm going to question that here. I do. You there. would. All right, next, we're going to take a break. Lacey says she doesn't care what anyone thinks. Uh, she's planning to get even bigger implants, but we're going to. I want to see what her daughter has to say about that. We come back. My daughter's boy wants me to stop having surgeries. I've had a few scares, the most recent being I ripped a pectoral muscle because of the weight of my breasts, and so the vein ripped with it, and my breasts filled up with blood. I'd be rushed to the hospital and have an emergency surgery. I've had 20 surgeries on my body overall. I've had 12 breast augmentations. My breasts are L cup, and I don't have a bra size. All my bras are special made. I've had two abdominoplasties, which is a tummy tuck, ab tightening, full body lipo suction at least four times, a Brazilian butt lift, and I've had my lips done. And I have those done illegally. I didn't do it with a plastic surgeon, I did it with someone in the house. That was Lacey talking about the 20 cosmetic procedures that she's had done. And which one of these you have done in the house? My lips. My lips are silicone, which is, they don't do silicone in your face or body or anything like that because it's dangerous. And I, I definitely don't recommend that to anyone. And, and any surgery that you do have, make sure that your doctor is certified. Don't ever do anything in anyone's house or anything like that. There's some really bad things that can happen. Yeah. And I'm fortunate enough to get it. How much bigger are you going to go? with the breasts. Well, I'm going to get expanders, and expanders can go up to 14,000, but I'm not going to go that big. I just, I would like to be another 2,000, like, and I'll be happy, I think. <laughs> Define happy. What, what will make that happy for you? Well, see, it's, it's like with, with, I mean, my fans are out there, you all know who you are, and, and there's like a little clique of ladies that all have their boots, and they're called Big Bus Stars, and, um, I'm in the top 20 right now. I'd like to be in the top 10. Okay, but let me tell you, you're not a stripper. I don't do porn. You're I not strip. porn. You, no. you just, what? You just walk around? Basically, I just sit and answer my fan mail and do my stuff like that. I get a lot of, uh, I get a lot of stuff. So, I, I really don't work a 9 to 5. I mean, I can't. Where am I going to work at? Walgreens? What am I going to do? You know, I can't do it. Who wants to work with me? Nobody. You know, women, men are, you know. And, I, and, and the thing is, I may seem like I'm a little outrageous, which I am, but I'm a mom first, and uh, I know well, what, what, what do you think your daughter feels about this? Well, I, Tori's very well-rounded. You know, she's, she's pretty secure. She can handle most things. I don't want to push any pressure on her that she doesn't have to have, but let's face it, there's a lot of celebrities and people and people that aren't normal, and um, their kids have to deal with them on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, you're pretty well-rounded yourself. But, um, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but you, well, you would rather she not do this, right? I don't want my mom to go bigger because I feel like she doesn't need to. But if my mom's happy with her boobs, I would definitely like want her to do that because I, I don't want like my mom to be miserable. Because if my mom's miserable, that's just it's gonna make my house miserable. And I want my mom to be confident, of course. But going bigger is just like pointless. And well, we have two uh, top plastic surgeons with us today. Dr. Uh -oh. John Martin is a Florida board certified plastic and reconstructive surgeon and uh, also Beverly Hills plastic surgeon Dr. Anthony Griffin is here. Where do you find a, 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 a mainstream legitimate plastic surgeon that would do, would, would this be? Would yeah, it, uh, John and I were just talking about it. I mean, basically the, the standard implant size comes up to 800. So she has, what, four or five times that. It's and so that has to be either a customized uh, implant, which oftentimes are available outside of the country, or oftentimes uh, I see a lot of patients who come from Las Vegas who get these implant sponges. So 
what happens is it's a sponge and over time it absorbs water and they get real big. Now, the, pro what, the problem with what, the problem going this big, and by the way, it goes all the way up to Z. So the lettering goes all the way up to Z. Um, the biggest I've dealt with is going to P. But the problem is, and I tell all patients, big implants, big problems. Big risks, Big yeah. problems down the road. Skin erosion, like you said, you're going to go a little bigger. I don't know how thin your, thick or thin your skin is. The other thing is you start to develop back problems, posture problems. And so, and they're very difficult to fix long term. Right. I don't, I don't plan on being this way when I get 60. And that's what happens. So I see the patients after they say, you know, I, I no longer work in that industry that requires that size. I want to now come back to normal. And it's very, it oftentimes it takes multiple operations to right. get you back yeah, because to the usual size. Because if you, if, if, but if you, if you keep on, as you say, as you get older, I guess if you get older, you can just bounce them. <laughs> Actually, you don't want to size that. Mom, when you get old enough, I'm going to buy you a walker with a little, with a little uh, place to set your boobs on so you can walk them through. <laughs> yeah, so reducing it would be a problem. Well, it kind of sets you up for a lifetime of surgeries. I've already had a lifetime of surgeries. Yeah. Well, it's going to be. But so is this, this is a business model for you. Right. The, th the thing is, it's really hard, and, and what I do is, a lot of people stereotype me. Everyone thinks I'm a porn star, which that, that I don't like to reflect on Tori a little bit, because they think, oh, she's a blonde bimbo, which I'm really like Judge Judy at home. I mean, I don't only have one child. I have several children, and four are at home, and two are raised. And uh, I'm a hardcore mom. I mean, I love my kids first and foremost, and that's what my life is all about. And believe it or not, this is what I do to take care of my kids. Okay, but you got to know... And and that, listen, I'm not going to ask you to say things that are unkind to your mother. We've talked to you before the show when we did pre-interview, and your daughter loves you. She respects you. There, there's no question about that. But she also wishes you wouldn't keep spending money on this. And I don't. You, and it's got to be it's got to be embarrassing for your mom to walk into school. I don't ever go to her school. Well, but you should. But, but, I can't go to her school. Let's be honest. But that's the problem. You, you could if, if if it wasn't this way. You're you're making a trade off. Well, of course I'm making a trade off. Would we rather live in a car? I'm, believe me, I'm not rich. Christmas isn't easy. I have six kids. Okay, Christmas isn't easy. Now, especially since I do this, because I don't. I used to do marketing promotions. I'm pretty smart. You know, I can pretty much sell anything. But these you days, you can't tell me that this is a good idea. I bet I can. I, well, I bet you can. I bet if, if you saw me out of my clothes, you'd change your mind. Uh, I, I'm not saying, I'm saying if you saw me in a bikini, you'd be like, you know what, you look pretty good. I, I, I'm pretty proportionate. You know, I have a big booty, too. It's not like I'm just all boobs. You know, I have a little bit of brain. We'll grab it. Hey, do you want... You seem like a very nice person, and you seem like a, a very nice mother. And your daughter oh, has you described you. Your, your, your daughter has described you. And, and tell me if I'm wrong, as an attentive mother that's plugged in. And yeah, like right now, it kind of seems like people like don't like. Okay, right now she's like talking, and how she's talking, it kind of sounds like she's um like being like, oh, mama. no, I, my mom has done like when we're at home and not like in front of an audience or something like my mom's been like a veteran my mom's been a vet my mom can do tattoos my mom has done so much and she's like so smart we've traveled everywhere yeah. together that's what i say she's been very complimentary of you so i don't mean well, to she's, suggest she's, she's a just... wonderful kid all my kids are very i'm very very blessed let me tell you i don't have any emotional problems with my children they're all very functional the grown ones are great adults so how do you make money well, like I said, I have fans all over the world that uh, sends money. Right now, I have a bigger breast fund. Uh, yeah. So, and I do promotions still. I go and sign autographs. I go to uh, public events. I'm getting ready to do three movies. Because you might like do a car show or something or be. Well, I don't do car shows. I don't like get too, too out of the personal. I, I would go to like a convention. I'm getting ready to do a bunch of horror movies. I sign posters. I meet with people. Uh, people hire me to uh, go host celebrity. I'm getting ready to host a celebrity boxing event in Vegas. You know, I am one of the biggest breast girls in the world, so it's not, a, you don't see me on every corner, you know, and um, I'm a lot of fun, too, like, when you meet me, like, if you met me on a one-on-one -on -one person, you'd be looking at me at first, like, whoa, but when you meet with me and talk to me, you'd be like, wow, she's just like the girl next door, it's pretty cool, you know. I know it's hard to believe, everyone's laughing, but it's true. No, well, but you understand, 
you you want to be out there, right? I mean, you want to be extreme. I am extreme. And let me tell you, what will we do in this world without extreme people? Look at Lady Gaga. Everyone loves her because she's extreme. You know. So, at this point, you just you want it to get bigger. You live with where you are, but you don't want it to become one of these. Right. I don't. Bigger is not better. She says. Yeah, I don't think she should get bigger. Yeah. Does that matter to you that she doesn't want you to? Do that? Everything. Every one of my kids always matters. We make our choices together. And, you know, I think more that my older kids are more scared that I'm getting older. They're more scared of me because with everything, there's risks. They're more scared of something happening to me. And, I mean, last time I was in surgery, I was in under nine hours. And I had seven surgeries at one at one time. That's probably that can't be good, doctor. That, that can't be good. Yeah, but well, I know. You can slip into a coat. But this, but people, I mean, each to their own. It's true. I mean, I mean, each to their own, but you don't think that this looks natural. In fact, you want it to not look natural, right? Absolutely. I don't want to look natural. I'm, not, I'm like a living Barbie. I don't want to look. And the thing is, like, I don't want to look like anyone else. I wouldn't get the work I get. Yeah. I want my own reality show. Then what would, what would you do on the reality show? Well, I mean, uh, just kind we, of were, we were just... <laughs> no, I, I wish that's at all I could do. I mean, it's with my family, my life. That's what I show. I mean, look at the Kardashians, you know? They have a reality show. It's boring as hell. I mean, I guarantee you, my family and my life is a lot. It's not as boring as Kardashian's family. I, I promise you. And I'm also single, so it's like you know. I mean, I have kids and everything, so it's a, it's a total package. You'd have to want kids. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. but it's kind of figure out who. It's it's hard to figure out who likes me for me and not my boobs. So. I'm yeah. serious. It's like really crazy. I mean, it's really crazy. It's a crazy life I lead. Well, I guess it's so. a crazy life we lead. So, what's next for you in your life? Are you? Um. Well, I'm a junior in high school, so I'm gonna take my ACTs, SATs, apply to Florida International University, and become a lawyer. Well. I'll say this for you. This is the only of your children I know, but uh, oh, you've, you've certainly done something right. Cause she's well, thank a you so much. She is wonderful, and, and I will help her achieve anything that she wants to do. Right back. Thank you. Well, now, Robin, I didn't look down one time. <laughs> She's got the peanut gallery back there. <laughs> Welcome her to see if I'm scoping this out. Unanimous. Okay. We vote unanimous. You look. Oh, we vote unanimous. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I mean, it's like, you notice there's a, there's a Buick out there. I mean, <laughs> Well, I want to thank all of my guests today, and if you want more information about how to find a licensed medical practitioner in your area, you can go to drphil.com, and you're going to find resources there that will direct you in that way. Thanks so much for being here. Thank Amazing technology.